the Sarasota Opera House brings many different types of performers to its stage. And this summer, the opera is featuring a different kind of show for the dog days of summer. It's called Sarasota Opera House Presents. Richard Russell, the executive director of the Sarasota Opera, joins us now to tell us about what's going on. So what are you presenting in August, Richard? Well, uh, the first thing we're do, we're, we did our Tony Danza show back in May. We and, loved uh, that. What a great, great guy. It was great fun, yeah. He was a great guy. Um, uh, on Saturday, we are have hosting Ricky Nelson Remembered by his two twin sons, Gunnar and Matthew Nelson, oh. are doing a tribute show to Ricky Nelson. Uh, so that's um, exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. Yes, and his own sons are doing his it. His twin sons have developed this kind of multimedia tribute show to him. So there'll be some video as well as them performing some of Ricky Nelson's famous songs like Garden Party and Hello Mary Lou. Oh. So it should be great fun. I oh. remember them as a music duo. Um, they had a, a few, quite a few number one hits. Um, yes. Like in MTV videos, I remember and seeing And actually, them. I just, and in re researching this show, I discovered that, that with Ricky Nelson, the twins, and then actually actually Ricky Nelson's parents, they're the only family to have three number one top hits. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Three generations? Three generations. Oh, yeah. yes. They were big in my day, yeah. I want to tell you. <laughs> Why did you decide to do shows like this that are so different from opera? You know, it, a couple of years ago, we started this film series during the summer to just to create a little bit more um, activity during mm -hmm. the summer. You know, we have to pay the air conditioning in the summer anyway. <laughs> so I figured, let's have people uh, come into the opera house. So we started the film series, and that's done very well. We we added classic films last year, and then I thought, what if we do a couple of shows? The Van Wezel isn't doesn't do anything during the summer, mm -hmm. so we can do a. You know, I'm not trying to replace them, but just to do a couple of different kinds of things yes. to get people into the opera house mm. into the summer. And so we did the Tony Danza. We're doing this Ricky Nelson show, and then we have Laura Benanti coming in September. So that's well. That's some people are sort of put off by opera because it seems so classical and dignified. Do you think coming to the opera house like this for this kind of show will bring them back to see? Opera? Yes, I think it's true that that one of the barriers to people coming to opera mm -hmm. is they're afraid of the theater. They think they have to get dressed up for the theater yes. and it's a, it's a forbidding place. So I, that's why we want to try to create different kinds of entertainment for people to come and to say, this is not, you know, it's, it's a fine, you can enjoy yourself, you can relax um, and just enjoy all kinds of entertainment. Well, tell me about Laura now. She's your next uh, act. I'm uh, excited about her. Uh, me too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge fan. I saw her in Gypsy a couple of years ago. Oh, yes. And what a great actress and a great singer. Mm -hmm. And um, she has a wonderful CD out. So Laura Bonanti is a great actress and Broadway two-time Tony winner. Uh, she's coming to do kind of a cabaret evening oh. uh, on September the 21st. That's and great. she has this amazing, like, lyric soprano voice but this humor that is almost like, I don't want to say Bette Midler, but just a humor of more of a, a brassy girl at times. It's, it's so, really true. It's she's really so true. fun. <laughs> yeah. she's, a, she's got a great sense of humor about herself mm -hmm. and about the art form, about you know Broadway, and she's such a wonderful singer, too, which I really enjoy. Well, you have to be particular about who you invite, what kind of shows you pick to come in in this part of the season, don't you? Well, I'm I, I, we're specifically not doing classical music or opera oh. or things like that. I really want a broader kind of entertainment to try to bring in an audience that we wouldn't normally get mm -hmm. during the regular season. I mean, we're so busy during you know our season here in Sarasota with opera, and then when we're not performing, we have the ballet and the I orchestra. Guess. So I felt like bringing in another kind of entertainment would kind of broaden our audience and, and have different people come to the Opera House. And it's, we always know that when people are new to the Opera House, because they ask where the bathrooms are. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> where the lines for me. <laughs> exactly. So, um, and when we did the Tony Danza show, I, there was very few people I recognized in the audience, which was great, which is what right. I wanted. I was there. I you was were there. there. <laughs> I recognized you. <laughs> she knew where the bathroom was. Yes. That's why you didn't see me. Yes. So, so the fall season starts in October. We do. We start with the Barber Seville uh, in late October, and uh, we have a wonderful lineup of, of operas this season. It's going to be, a, a, I think, a very exciting season. It sounds really terrific, and we're so glad there's something there in the summertime. Well, thank you. I'm thank you so much, Richard. And for more information about the Sarasota Opera summer season and the season to come, go to sarasotaopera.org.